Hello, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, hello. Okay, okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Just gonna do a walkthrough finally of the whole rear setup, the tent, all the canopies, the dog box, the whole lot, um, answer all the questions I got you guys to ask over on my Instagram page. So if you're not following that, go and check it out. It's hot, I'm sweating, and the sun's going down, but we're gonna do this. It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. And I'm sorry I'm not perfect, but I knew that I wouldn't be. I guess it's for the best, you know the worst in me. We'll start off, I think, with the rooftop tent so that you guys can see inside before it gets too dark. It's made by Dynamic Slide on Campers. I think a lot of people were wondering if it was the same company. Yes, same company made the canopy, the rooftop tent, and installed everything. Pop up here, this is the ladder. It's not too bad, it's very light. Um, haven't sort of had any dramas with it. Hinges is just on the front section here, and they just pull out so that the um, ladder can pop in. This whole outer box section goes all the way in. I'll see if I can show you. So it's sort of like recessed. Plan is to run an awning. So it makes it a lot easier to bolt awnings through because it's just a nice flat panel and it's tucked away so you're not gonna be stabbing, get stabbed while you're sleeping or anything like that. Also on the outside, we've just got the hinges that just simply unclip and the whole thing goes up on struts. Um, it's also got the mount for the poles which hold the external awning up. Uh, you don't sort of have to but there's a pole that runs down the middle and it goes all the way along eyelets to keep that pole there. So that's kind of the out the whole outside. I'll show you the front in a second where all the wiring runs. It sort of runs hidden away so it goes down to the inner drive unit there. Um, and it comes out up the top. Just got my own mattress in here at the moment. Um, probably look at upgrading it to a bit comfier. Two whole windows. They open up completely, so the fly screen comes undone as well. Also got internal lights, which go pretty bright. Got your phone pocket and all your sockets to charge your phone which um the whole roof is is carpeted from what i sort of was looking around for this is one of the the largest sized rooftop tents internally it doesn't even completely fit the mattress i have somebody was asking whether it leaks this bedding's been in here for <laughs> two weeks now three weeks and no water whatsoever it's not damp in here and it's been flat out raining non-stop in townsville um for once so this is where the, the seal would normally sit. So you can see that the, the water's there, but it hasn't sort of gone any further than that seal. So this is the front hinge point. You can see Dynamic sort of made their own design for the top. That's the, the seal that you can see. See the struts come up on the outside. They go almost, you know, three quarters of the way along. So you know it's gonna be stable during the wind. This is where all the wiring comes through from the Enerdrive solar panel that sits on top. I think for the price what it is and compared to a lot of the other ones on the market, it is it is a good size, it's well made. There's a lot of things with the other ones that I've sort of had concerns about. One of them being how far back some of the struts sit. Doesn't seem to be as supportive as what it would it should be a lot of other ones are, are real narrow or they don't pop up as high so it becomes just like a real stuffy area these have real big windows it completely lets breeze flow all the way through 
Um, Dynamic also make these custom size, so they have their set size. If you sort of want to make it narrower or longer or wider or anything, they they can they have that ability to. I had a few people ask about the size, um, uh, sorry, the weight of everything. It's just a guess, but we reckon about 115, and that's with all the brackets and mounting and the solar panel that's on the top. Somebody also asked where the canopy's actually bolted. The extrude that sits on both the canopies has a little rail. Um, where you can slide a bolt in, one on the dog box, and then there's two further down on the rear canopy. So they just unbolt, and then the whole rooftop separates from everything. Um, the plan is, however, to only remove the back, so the rooftop will come with it. Uh, I had a few people also ask about the pricing. So this size here it starts at 4850 plus obviously a fitting and everything for the price i mean the majority of other big name brand ones are all over five grand yeah very happy with it i don't think there is a thing that i would change on it so far main part of this whole thing was for this dog box this um was the reason i wanted to change the rear setup was because of Zamazi boy <laughs> this is originally what it was based off and then everything sort of grew from there um, But I definitely wanted a big dog box I wanted it lockable so that if I had groceries or went and bought something I could put it in there and it wasn't um Yeah out in the open But it's very it's very basic. It's just It's all lined um, There's there's insulation on um, all, all the sides and it's completely sort of sealed so you can just hose it out because someone gets grubby. There is bolt-on covers that bolt on to this outer section if you needed it to be watertight. Obviously it stays open for Mars. A lot of people ask, you know, it's going to be super hot, but the way the canopy sort of sticks out from the vehicle, the wind actually draws into those holes and it's... It, it's quite cool um, with all the insulation. I, I wanted it large so it wasn't like isolation box for the Mars. Yeah, it is a substantial size dog box. Obviously, most people aren't this this large. And the plan is to remove the back, and that's what these brackets are for, so I can run tray side. So there's greasable swivels that the tray sides mount onto, um, and they click on to here. Also, everything carries over, so the spare wheel and everything bolts straight onto the back of the dog box and that just means that everything sort of stays the same once the rear canopy comes off. If you watched the last video you would have heard uh, Sheldon from Dynamic talking about their extrude. So you can sort of see how the doors link underneath and they run in that rail so that when it's raining the water doesn't actually like drip down in the gap and you know fall on your head and stuff. It's all it's all sealed and also there's the the top gutter so that you could put a shade sail in and run it all the way through. So yeah I thought that was um something that sort of set Dynamic apart from a lot of other brands. Dynamic actually call this a half canopy, not so much a dog box just because of size of it. Their half canopies start at 2750 and that's for non jack off. So this is um, a jack off the same as the rear. So these little sections pull out and you can slot in the jack off legs. And people asking how both canopies are mounted, they're all bolted down to the tray. So you can see the, um, the bolts there. I had no intention of ever running the little clips that clip them to the tray. I think for the type of forward drive when I do that just never seemed like a safe idea. The only thing I think I would change with the dog box is I would put a window here only because I like seeing my dog. <laughs> but I think we're going to try and run a camera. Um, my head unit has space for another um, camera input so put a little camera in here and I'll be able to Keep an eye on the miser boy. Hey, hey. Um, so yeah, he's he's happy. People said, why is he still in the cab? But he actually doesn't like the cab, especially when there's two of us in there. He gets grumpy because he likes his, uh, his space. And as a puppy, he always had a, a dog box canopy. So I think it's kind of his safe place. And happy boy, do you happy boy? Okay, come on. The dog box approximately, we think about 110 kilos. Weight difference between you know having everything on to just the dog box um it's gonna be just so light it's so much lighter than what my old steel tray was with two toolboxes uh, and obviously i can fit a lot more in this one dog box than those two toolboxes anyway
Moving on to the large rear canopy. Here we are, I didn't want all this electrical gear in with Mars, so that was why a second box was added. Dynamic put in all this drawer, so it's quite deep. Uh, there's probably a lot of crap in here, um, but it goes a long way back. The cutout uh, in the middle there is just because of the lithium battery that sits at the back there. But yeah, this has got all my tools in it at the moment. Spare doggo towel. These are all my grab me gear bags with spares and little bits and pieces. Got a soldering iron, fire extinguisher. Just, yeah, so I think I've got to organize this a bit better, but. The inner drive unit was covered in full in the last video. So I've the links in the description if you want to go and um, hear all about it and sort of what, what it entails and, and other options that Enerdrive have. The battery does sit down in the rear there, all, all carpeted. Uh, obviously there's lights on the door and then a little one on the inside. The back of the canopy at the moment is the jerry can holder. Um, which is um, bolted through and spare tire holder as well and it's just got the plate on the bottom so the other side of the rear canopy is got my fridge the plan is to downsize this is the 95 liter waco so give it a bit more room it's same thing again it's all carpeted lights on both sides and the doors are just got a seal that runs all the way down the sides um, and to that sits in that extrude up the top so approximately the rear canopy we reckon it's about 270 because of the inner drive unit and the lithium battery it's substantially heavier they sort of start at 4500 plus fitting i did price up a lot of different companies before deciding on dynamic and yeah it's for something that was custom made to my own dimensions the price range is very on par with a lot of you know just just built you know one after the other smashed out not custom at all. Finally, the tray. My old tray was steel. This one is completely alloy. I think a lot of people are surprised at how light this is. Uh, obviously, it looks and seems a lot bigger. It's actually um, potentially lighter. There is room down the middle, maybe possibly a water tank either underneath or at the back. They've got under tray toolboxes. On both sides i wanted them at the front sort of keep the departure angle but i put keep i've got recovery gear on this side and the other side has got my air compressor the mud guards we spaced as evenly as possible to allow my tire to still travel but yeah sort of had it off road and had no issues with it scrubbing or or hitting anywhere you got your rear tie down rails and they've wired in all the wiring to my factory loom um, you got maxi LED tail lights. This is Dynamics Premium Plus welded tray. They do have a model, I believe, that is below this one. So these ones start at $49.50. Again, for the pricing, I, I think it's crazy because it's not a, a small tray. It's very solid. All the dimensions were over the phone. Nothing was measured actually on the car. It's just amazing how they, they got it all to sort of come together without needing my car there. Tray weight with the toolboxes, approximately 150 kilos. Yeah, this, this whole entire setup is very close to what my old one was. That's with everything in it that I would carry normally. So with the fridge, with everything in the drawers, Mars in the back, bedding in top of the rooftop. The only thing I would then add if I was going away would be your food, your drinks, um, camp chairs, things like that. I'll see how this audio goes. It's very noisy outside, hence why I'm in the spot. But I thought I would answer a few questions because you guys had 
a heap that you wanted to know but i've put all the website link prices weights everything in the description box so you don't have to like try and find the exact point if you could do it again would you change anything because i'd probably because this is so high i would do a draw like a full length draw along the whole bottom and marine carpet it so then I guess Mars has somewhere to lay. It's not like wasted space. It's pretty small. So why do I have a camp trailer or what am I gonna do with the camp trailer now that I have this? I still use the camp trailer. The first trip we did with this, the camp trailer came with because the camp trailer has water tank, 270 degree awning, both cookers. So I have a gas cooker, um, burner stove and then our Weber BBQ. You know, all the storage place like for chairs. I don't really want to put chairs in here with Mars so I'm like gonna have to try and divide it or some things. Um, the rooftop tent can go on both so like if I didn't want to take the canopy I can take the rooftop off and put it on the trailer. Yeah for some reason people think that I can't have a camper trailer and a canopy which is real weird because um I don't think I've ever seen anybody with a camper trailer and a ute that doesn't have a canopy. I think I just did it back the front so I did the trailer first and then the canopy and people were like what? At the moment I still need the trailer. I don't need it but I've become accustomed to it and now yeah I'm gonna have to start putting things more on the canopy and working out how to just sort of run the canopy. But at the moment I can take both and it's not a big deal. I'm not hassled by taking it I guess. It, you use slightly more fuel I guess if you're going on a big trip but yeah that'd be about it. Yeah so all of this comes off. I'm leaving it all together because I was supposed to be going to the Brisbane 4 wheel drive show which is now cancelled due to some virus thing going around. Because I drive this daily um, will be the rear canopy off. Um, and the tray sides on and then when I go on trips just put the rear canopy and rooftop on. They all sit on the jack off legs really good like you can hang off the front rooftop tent and it doesn't like tip over or feel like it's going to tip over. And that was a big thing for me because I don't understand people who have utes and then can't use them as utes. <laughs> you may as well have just got a wagon. Any more questions just put them in the comments. I read all my comments on Instagram and YouTube so um, ask away and I will answer as best I can. If you want a direct quote, just call Dynamic. They are amazing to deal with. I am one of those people who hate talking to people on the phone. Uh, <laughs> I'm an email text kind of person, but yeah, the guys organized all of this over the phone. Sorry for the delay. I hope you liked this video. I hope it um, answered a lot of your questions and I will see you guys all in my next video.